with all the with all the stuff and then she's just like oh my god and then she's and, and then you know they just has all the blood on her by her shot by her socks and shoes are perfectly clean yeah and she just dips alan episode two north star I'm guessing this just means it's like if yeah. you if you start it, it kind of like overwrites other chapters that yeah. you've been playing potentially. Oh, is this one? North Star. Polaris. Yes. <gasps> oh, this is gonna be Jesse. Shadowy government agents hunting her. Agents from the very same agency that took the only person she cares about. Oh yeah. On her quest, she is guided by her mysterious alien guardian angel. Her guiding star shows her the way, as it always has. She does not know what strangeness awaits her, as she follows its unwavering light to the small town of Night Spring. Night Springs. It's really ironic if you think about Tonight's it. Tonight's dreamlike episode, North Star. This is gonna get strange. Oh, here we go. There's no helping it. Coffee World universe is much deeper and weirder than people know. My brother and I know. We've seen it. We've seen you. But there are some people, an agency, that doesn't want anyone knowing more than what they see. Jesse! That's why they took my brother and have been chasing me my whole life. This is, I can't keep running. this is so weird. So she's ended up in Coffee World of all places. Why does she think this is a good place to hide? Look for your brother, Chapter One. Hello. Right, well, Polaris is guiding her. Oh, hello. What have we got here? You think something here is important? What? The numbers? Probably. Close until further notice. Oh, it looks like it's hovering over 238. Or 205, because it's a normal Friday. I guess we can try one, and if one doesn't work, then the other. Maybe. Well, I feel like maybe it'll like increase by a certain increment. Maybe not. Saturday is 128. Yeah, uh, you're right. It could be, um... Maybe 305? Okay. Locked up tight. Try 238, just for kicks. Okay. Okay. Ah, see? <laughs> Occasionally I know what I'm talking about. Until now, you helped me find this place. Now you'll help me get it back. Right. What on earth would, like, you know, this form of the FPC be Hello? doing? Is anybody here? Uh oh. When did, what I hear shadowy whispering. Yeah. Oh, we actually have batteries now. This place really makes me want to copy. But I guess that's the point. Yes. <laughs> Happy to see that Jesse's a little snarky humor is alive and well. More than the sum of its parts. Oh, it looks like the pyramid. Look at it. Look at the pyramid Wait. imagery. Yeah. So down, left, up. I guess so. I guess we gotta look around for a code somewhere. Oh my god. Oh, uh, we need a flashlight. Yeah, this place does actually feel like the dark place, doesn't it? The dark, yeah. the rain, the glowing red, which symbolizes the, um... Hmm. Ooh. Which symbolizes, um, the hiss for her. Yeah, and this, this seems much more like an actual... Oh, at, like actual level in Alan Wake itself, yeah. rather than Rose's fanfic romp. 
I was going to say Fever Dream Romp. That works. Yeah, and we can't go either of those ways because there's dark, darkness people blocking our way. What I think is interesting, too, with this right here is that um, Polaris is shown in more... Hi! Jim, get inside the light. Wait a minute. Tim. Tim! Tim! Oh, I love Tim. Should I lie? I kind of let myself in. You should have lied, honey. Yeah, more than you bargained for, huh? What's going on here? What are those shadow people? Well, that's what I'm here trying to figure out. The government's been putting something in the coffee. Tim. Turning people into coffee monsters. The government. <laughs> Is this the same government agency that's been chasing me? Oh my god. I'm looking for someone. My brother. Have you seen anybody? Well, only if you count those monsters. I'm sorry. They've been abducting people from Night Springs, too. Oh, the coffee monsters or the government? I'm here to get them back home. Both. Yeah, right. Really. It's not safe here. Oh, Tim, I love you. I miss you so much. <laughs> Something in the coffee is doing this? Really? It took me a while to wrap my head around it, too. At first, I thought... Well, I don't know what I thought. <laughs> but now it's clear. This is deep state science. Oh, my God. It's such a conspiracy I'm theorist. I'm going anywhere until I find my brother. I respect that. There's a warehouse just past the park. It's locked up tight, has some fancy government security system, but the intercom is busted. I figure that's where they're keeping our missing folks. There's a spare pistol and flashlight on the bench. I'd feel better if you took them. Those monsters don't do well with light. Fair enough. Do not drink the coffee. <laughs> do not drink the coffee! Of course, once again, Tim has a nice little safe space. What's very interesting to me is that all the light here is green. Oh. Yeah, compared oh. to the normal silver. Staff memo. Please be aware that there will be some changes due to new management. Starting immediately, Coffee World will only open at night. This will allow us to draw in new customers. All staff should be pushing our new Dark as the Void blend. Oh, no. Oh, God. On that note, tomorrow we'll have a special tasting party for staff. Attendance is mandatory. Please bring your friends. Oh, they're trying to get more people. Oh, God. Yeah. Have you seen Have you seen me? Jake Flemson, age 52, male, um, 5'11", 180 pounds, last seen hiking at the Night Springs National Park on September 18th. The reporting party advised her partner, Jake um, that her partner, Jacob Flemson, was last seen leaving for Night Springs National Park at approximately 11.30 a.m. Flemson was wearing a dark shirt with a rock band logo, flannel overshirt, navy jeans. If found, please contact the Night Springs Sheriff's Department. Dark Triangle Coffee proudly presents Night Under the Stars. The nights may be cold, but the coffee is hot. This week, Coffee World will only be open at night. Bring your friends, family... Children, anyone you know for fun under the stars, join us, join the percolation. Oh, that sounds so culty. I hate it. I mean, I kind of love it because I love, like, the creepy ambience, but the, like, because it really works for this, but at the same time, oh, it's creepy. I don't like it. <gasps> Thanks, Polaris. I could see him actually holding an axe. Oh, whoops. Wait, what? Why is it? Where's the... There it is. Ow. Ow. Why is it not dodging? I feel like you can't really dodge like you could in the other game. Yeah. Which is a problem. Good thing it's giving me so much pistol bullets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she doesn't seem to have her, um, like, uh, her psychic abilities. Well, that makes sense. I mean, it's just Night Springs. No, don't drink the coffee. 
Oh god, okay. I'm not trying to sit around watching movies anyway. But we will probably make you do so anyway. Also, the join us, join the percolations on everything. It was even on that welcome sign to Coffee World. Uh, it said, yeah. join us, join the percolation. And now that you hear what's going on, it's like, oh god, everything feels... It's like, it's like subliminal messaging everywhere. Yeah. Oh god. All the toilets are out of order still. Of course they are! Why would the dark place need working toilets? I ask you. There we go. Whee! Oh. Oh, we can't actually read that. That's weird. Game. There we go. Come on. Game. Game. There we go. Okay, you got it. You got it. There's a bunk. What I think is actually very interesting is that in this game, Polaris is shown to be predominantly green, the coloring, whereas in the control, she's blue. Yeah. Like, this is kind of like, this This green has like a bit of blue tinge to her, but it's very, it is way greener than it is in control. Yeah, and even it, even the safe light has more of a greenish tint. Yeah, as opposed to like the yellow or white that it was. I wonder if there's supposed to be any thematic significance to it, or if it's supposed to be a direct contrast to all the red. Maybe, maybe a direct contrast. Because the red actually works pretty well for the hiss and also the dark. Oh, is Polaris sparkling up ahead? Yes. Okay, just checking. It also, too, does work because the dark presence did have a lot of red imagery in this newest game, but um, it is still an interesting shift. And I wonder if that's going to come into play somehow. If it's just meant to. Or if it's meant to kind of signify that you're in some place that's really weird and otherworldly. As if the you know the dark rain wasn't enough. Yeah. Once they like mention like you know dark as the void and stuff it's like you know what? yeah it makes sense this place is all you know like dark moody rainy empty it's just like Alan's thing in the dark presence yeah. was. What? No, Jesse, no. No, she's saying this stuff smells like coffee. I know. Actually, the the amount of pistol ammo makes this feel much more like the service weapon because of how quickly you're able to fire without yeah. without you know side without effect. Yeah. Well, honestly, this is kind of reminding me about like how she needed that inoculation to make her not eat the mold because the mold would have you know killed her. Yeah. It's kind of what this feels like a little bit. It's like oh, it smells like coffee. It's like no, no, remember, remember, don't drink the coffee. Don't drink the coffee, baby. You got this, baby. Sorry, I lost it. Honey. <laughs> sure. What's the question? <laughs> what kind of question is that? I love that coffee. <laughs> Just let me inside the fucking building. <laughs> that is incorrect. Okay, it very well could be the other one, but I would like to see if we can find the video because there is kind of a. I have morbid curiosity into watching. Oh, it's video. definitely not going to be the other one. Find that orientation video. Yeah. Exactly. She's not going to be able to just randomly guess it. Brute force it. Call. I just love that 
coffee. That is incorrect. Just let me in the epic building. <laughs> I do also love to when she said epic machine and they just said that is incorrect. Oh, no, pass key invalid. And she's like, oh my god. Okay. Oh god, I hope you don't have to go down the well. The well was horrible. To be honest, too, a lot of these places being dark and just very wet and full of and full of rain definitely described, you know, Alan's experience running around the dark like dark, running around the dark place. But also, too, was the case for a lot of Coffee World and um, Bright Fall and um, Bright Falls and Watery, especially when, especially before you cleared out the overlaps. Yeah, there was. A lot of creepy stuff going on. Uh, so oh, the well is here. I know. I know. I know. Oh, it's. Oh, this is. Oh, pfft. Oh, thank God. It's just dark this time. Maybe this is where people go to the bathroom because the toilet. Because the toilets are always busted. <laughs> communal dumping ground, leather alley. And you know what? Considering the history of the place, yes. Tasting room. We haven't. Let's try up there. We have the VH. We know where the VHS is, but we don't know where the tape is. Also, this is actually much more of what I was expecting from Night Springs. The first Rose episode was very fun, but definitely, <laughs> definitely not you know what you expect from. Yeah, this feels like the traditional Night Springs episodes that we did see in Alan Wake, whereas the Rose one kind of felt like the plot hole, like the plot hole episode. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of hard to read because of how red it is. Mm -hmm. Welcome Center, Roasting Bar. That's the Lagoon, Welcome Center, yep, yeah, yeah. Percolator. Join the Percolation, oh! <laughs> Alright, so let's head up to the tasting room because I think that's the only other area we can explore right now. Okay. Unless we can find a code for that area down there, but even still, we still have yet to find anything that resembles a code. Oh, this is so cool, this is creepy. This is creepy, I love it and I hate it. Uh oh. Don't drink the coffee. Don't drink the coffee. No, just don't drink the coffee. I think we might have to. No. Why no? We'll see. Oh god, we're gonna have to fight Tim. Yes, oh thank god. Probably shouldn't drink any strange coffee. Sheriff said not to drink this stuff. Stop making her violate her own common sense. Leave her alone. Sheriff, I'm to drink this stuff. Oh, We're boy. definitely gonna have to come back and drink it at some point. Oh. I wonder what Tim is thinking when he. Oh my oh. god! When he hears all the gunshots and the garbled voices, he's like, ah, damn it! I will say, I do love having so much ammo because it is just, it's kind of cathartic, you know, to just blast away with yeah. reckless abandon compared to the main campaign where I'm like always hesitant with every shot. That is fair. That probably is nice because you're basically, you know, being a TV show. Where mm -hmm. bottomless magazines are a trope. Bottomless magazines? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isn't that nice when it just like you know shows you the uh, shows you the solution for it? Isn't that nice? Oh, I just realized. Look at mm -hmm. the reason we can't read this. It's uh -huh. a symbol of triangles. Oh, okay. And like other like tree shapes from the main game. I also had a bit of a panic because it was the branch, but it looks like there's a big ass spider on the thing. But no, it was just a tree branch with some leaves. Also, that does kind of make. Okay, I was about to say it makes a little bit of sense if you think about it because the, um, um, you can't read in a dream, but at the same time, if that was the case, then we wouldn't be able to see any of this other yeah. stuff that we're reading. Yeah. You have 477 bullets. <laughs> you just have 477 bullets. Oh, now you have 501 bullets. Oh, Jesus, Knight. There, there you go. Now you have 500 <laughs> bullets. Now you have a nice, even 500 bullets. Ta da. Oh. 
The first one had three, this one had four, and now the now this now this one has five. They're just slowly but surely yeah. testing your imp testing your key input memory. Hmm. Oh, I don't see Polaris glowing anywhere. I also still don't see where a tape could be. Polaris Does that help? Maybe I can go talk to Tim? We're lost in Coffee World. And definitely not six years old. <laughs> no, no, we're more like 11. Maybe 12 on a good day. Hi, Tim. Hey. Well, I'm glad to see you're okay. The security system wants some kind of password to get into the warehouse. So you gotta work it. I wonder why it wouldn't turn on for me. Because we're the main character. Exactly. It asks for the fourth word of the Dark Triangle Coffee mission statement. Any idea what that is? Of course, it wants you to watch the video. Do you have the it? after is on videotape, but it is chock full of government brainwashing. I watched a bit of it. It was doing something to me. It's oh. dangerous. You can't watch that tape. Okay, so it's like the hiss means the ring. I need that videotape, Sheriff. Well, this mm. is exactly how they get you. But fine. If you really want it, I hit it in Ferris wheel, cup number four. You'll okay. This so this is how we do it. Don't say I didn't warn you. I won't. Aw, oh, Tim. He's Thank like, you, Tim. He, he's. Even more aggressively conspiracy <laughs> theorist and like this than he is in like the real, in, like in the real world. Even in the real world, he had this moments, especially talking about Mr. Door. But a lot of weird crap was happening to, to him in the real world, and he was doing his best to roll with it and be a safe place for Alan. And yes. It's just like you know what he is a sweetheart. Yeah, and it's still weird that he got pulled into the dark place by Mr. Door, though. I think it was implied, you know, that he saved. Miss, uh, he saved Tim from something. Yeah. Because the dark, because you know, um, Mr. Creepy was about to come back to life. Yeah, but also too, he prevented him from giving the proper pages to Saga until much later, and not really sure what that was about. Yeah. Seven, eight, zero, I think. Ten. Oh, that was a nine. That was a nine. That's okay. Eleven. Twelve. One. Two. Three. Four. Imagine if there wasn't a four. What if it was just a five? And then, then you'd really be in the twilight zone. So, you up for a movie? All right. All right. Brace yourself, Polaris. I think you're gonna need to protect her. Protect her brain. Protect her sanity. Oh god, what if you watch this and it, it, you're close enough and then Tim like turns into a shadow monster or something? I hope not. Oh god. <laughs> At least he's hanging out in the light, so... Yeah. Less, of, less likely of that to happen. Can we like put on a lamp or something by the orientation area? Like, please. Well, the TV's pretty bright, so... That may not be enough. I'll see. Join us, make the world coffee. Yeah. God, I thought there was someone sitting in it. It's just the perception. Okay. Oh, God, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous, but I'm, like, nervous in a good way. Here we go. Dark Triangle Coffee. Dark Triangle Coffee is a fast-growing company with ambitions to sweep the nation. And eventually... Look at the hypnosis thing. Yeah. Yes, it's the hiss. Do you see that? Yeah. Come on, Polaris. Polaris. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. 
Yes. Are you good? I do. You was doing something to me. If you hadn't been there, what would have happened? What Dark. is this agency trying to do here? Control people? Why? What's their control? Plan? What if my brother has already been? No. God, yeah. I didn't come all this way to lose him now. But what if you did? Like, what if he's one of the shadow people and she already destroyed him? I don't think it would be that simple. But even still, the, it w I feel like it wouldn't be outside the nature of the Twilight Realm slash Nine S Night Springs to pull that sort of twist as you at you for the very end. Yeah, that's fair. Especially since you have a much bigger thing to go for too. Also, that like bubbling, gooey, liquid mess was so reminiscent of the hiss. It, it was, it was yeah. It was bright green. Yeah. And it looks so. It took so long for Polaris to get in oh. for her. Really? Hey! Do the triangle, do the triangle. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. Uh. What I thought was very interesting is that that hiss stuff was like very bright green. As opposed to the red. Yeah. Hey Polaris, how much how much do you make up? What if the optimal temperature is six six six? That wouldn't surprise me. I've wondered in enough coffee shops to write your next roasting machine. Ooh, paper. That wasn't there before, was it? I don't think it was. Angles of triangles, prime numbers, crossed out one plus two plus one, crossed out two plus four plus three. Angles of triangles. They all have to be 180 degrees, right? Yeah. Oh, son of a beehive. Oh, we can read this now. Hello. Oh, what do you think? Some of the parts of triangles, so it has to be a, so it has to be a more than 180 degrees. Yeah. More than the sum of its parts. Join us, join the percolation. Uncover the mysterious and ineffable <laughs> presence behind every cup of dark triangles' unique roast. So more than 180. Mhm. Mm Secret is in the roast. The first digit of our option of our optimal roasting temperature is half of the second, and the third digit is one less than the one before. And it has to be greater than 180. So greater than 180. Okay. The second digit, the first is half. So it could be two, four, three potentially. Yeah, yeah. I think potentially, that, but let's see what this one could is. Be right, yeah. Well, we so the temperature is less than 500. Yes, 500 degrees Fahrenheit. 500 is also the number of light years between Earth and planet X13. What? What's the point of that? I don't know. Let's try 243. I think you may be onto something. No. What about, so... what about 365? Nope. That doesn't seem right. 487. Yeah! <laughs> Dark is the void! <laughs> I think we got a Boy, that's some hot ass coffee. <laughs> oh, you know what actually works? Like, you know, the 1 plus 2 plus 1 and the two eight, the 243. That's why it was crossed out. Yeah. That's why it was crossed out. People tried that and it didn't work. Okay. Yeah, so it's 487. 
Which is less than 500. Uh, just barely. Mm-hmm. Hello. I knew we'd have to go do it. Oh no. That's help. Be a Polaris, please help. I can't stop now. Oh my god, Polaris, Keep please help. Right. Please. Thank you. <gasps> okay. Okay, well, we had to get some panic screaming in there somehow, you know? We had to live up to the title. I hate it. Try the coffee. <laughs> well, I just love how I just love how excessively I am firing. Right. And it just reminds me of Peter Quill in the second Guardians of the Galaxy. It's like, oh, wait, hold on. Also, to tell you the truth, look at you right here, right now. You are less than the optimal dark roast. <laughs> You're, you have less than the optimal dark roast temperature. Here does nothing. Oh God. Trust oh God. You. Please. Oh God. Look at her. She's shaking already. <gasps> Polaris. Why is she shaking like that? I hate this. I can't tell if it's a glitch or not. Something wrong with this coffee. I knew it. Thank you. That fucking door better open now. Oh my God. Him. Who else would have a shotgun? It has to be Tim, right? Oh, he's gone from Tim! here. Tim! Is there a body on the ground of the gazebo? Oh, no. Okay, okay. It was just like a tarp or something. Oh, God. I was afraid we accidentally stepped on it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God, you don't think we could have like transferred the coffee effects onto him by forcing it out of Jesse, do you? I don't think so. But this is definitely <gasps> a boss area. Oh no. Tim. Tim? Are you alright, Sheriff? I heard gunshots. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I was looking for you when one of those things jumped. Got a little bit of coffee in my mouth, but I spit it out. Should be fine. But listen. Something out. He's gonna turn before he can tell us. What did you out? Are you sure you're okay? No. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. He's standing so awkwardly. <laughs> Tim, baby. This but is it, giving me Casey vibes. The There's something else here. I, I don't know what it is, but it's. You need to get your brother and get out of here as soon as you can. Promise me. Yeah. yeah. I promise. Shut Will up. you come with us? Good. That's good. I'm just gonna catch my breath here a minute. <laughs> He's totally gonna be the final boss. Oh, Tim. I... I know. So he spit it out. Yeah, that, that does imply that, that those shadow things are full of the coffee substance. Try yeah. I tried the coffee. No. Great. Does that mean the flashlight? The flashlight's not okay. No, she sells the flashlight. What in the goddamn hell? We have a stealth 
segment now. This is going great. We are just roasting along, having a wonderful time in Night Springs. I will get the doors instruction. Uh oh. Oh, that's just not fair. That's just is not fair. Trying to read the sign. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I get in? Oh, I have to get in. It just broke her neck. Oh, I hate this. I love this, but I hate this. Maybe we can come back and read that time later. Yeah. What the fuck are those things? Death, imminent death. If they grab onto you, they will come over and they will roast your neck until it snaps. Do not let it grab you. You're making it so much worse. Sorry, sorry. I'm very freaked out. I feel like they should... No, no, no. They're not going to. Okay, so they have patrol routes. Okay. Oh my god. Mm. And two tries or less enter the warehouse without being caught by the coffee mascots. Good job. Ay ay ay. I have done their bidding, packaged the coffee, and brought the people to Coffee World to share in the blessing. They say I am almost ready. Oi. Oh god, is this Dylan? I hope not. <gasps> yeah. Oh, you're right, that is Sheriff. Sheriff? Sheriff? How'd you get in here? Oh, Tim, I'm sorry. We're gonna have hey, to kill you. Snap out of it! Coffee solves all your problems. It lowers heart disease and leads to higher life expectancy. Fuck. I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Oh, this is a nightmare. I need to find my brother. He has to be okay. Oh, God, we can't take him. We can't take him with us now. Oh, he's just standing there watching. What the hell? Hello? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's very amusing when I call it. Oh, it's called the North Star. I have a feeling this might not have a good ending. Gonna brew it if you're freaked out. <laughs> we know we're shining your light. <gasps> oh god, it's all dark and red there. Oh dear. Deep, the rabbit occurs. Night Springs. 
Oh, my God. Surrounded by mountains of evil coffee beans. You are coffee. We come need here. it. Come here. Come here. Don't, don't, don't you bomb me. You were doing the thing. I am. No, no, I'm doing. Oh my god. I need to find out that frustration. I can't do it to myself. Okay, yes, I can. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> now that was creepy as heck. Oh, that, no. that was such a different tone than the other one. Oh, oh my god. god. Now I have no idea what to expect for the next one, but. Oh. What? It said it was. It said it was time breaker. That is legit. Just one letter. Like that's just adding an extra e to Tim Breaker's name. Yes, I'm a feeling. I think the next one is does involve Tim. Hopefully, he's been decaffeinated. And that's me. I feel like this is just a good way to sort of decompress after that. Oh my god! I mean, that kind of combined the worst aspects of the hiss and the take and like the taken together. Yeah. And like a really bizarre, creepy thing, right? Like. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm guessing at the different desk, I wonder if it was randomized which one had the key. So we just got lucky in that it was the one in the corner, uh, away from both the coffee mugs. Oh my god, can you just imagine You know... Jesus Christ. Um, I, uh, I feel like I want to say something in my brain is probably... Oh, you know, uh, you know what this honestly kind of reminds me of? From what very little I know about it. Yeah? The kind of something that like seems like it should be like you know kind of bright and fun and something, it, but actually is kind of creepy and twisted beyond your imaginations late at night. Honestly, kind of makes me think of the animatronics from Five Nights at 